We are following breaking news this evening as police continue to investigate a threatening phone call that turned out to be a hoax made to Bay High School that put the school on lockdown. Police say no credible weapons or threats were found when they went inside this afternoon. For the very latest, we turn to our Andrew Horansky. Hi, Andrew. Good evening to you, Laura and Ross. As you can see, things here along Wolf Road in front of the high school a lot calmer than they were this afternoon while there is one police car still outside the high school blocking entry into it. But what a way to end this week. All afternoon, I can tell you being here, there was heavy police presence jamming the driveway in and out of the school. Nearby agencies responding, including Rocky River, Westlake, North Olmsted. Police around the perimeter while inside the school, they carried big guns in the hallways. All because of a call that came in at three minutes to one to the Bay Village Police Department, not 911. I'm told that it was a man reporting that an individual was in the bathroom with guns and knives and threatening to shoot up the school. The resource officer here was advised, police were dispatched, and the next thing you knew, the school was on lockdown. While inside, students had their phones, and the rumor mill was churning all across the community. Now, nearby schools were also placed on lockdown. With Bay Village suspending all bus service today, parents had to go pick up their kids at their relative schools. From the air, you could see that there was still heavy presence as kids left the main building for buses, but calmly, I can tell you my own cousins could have walked home, but instead they were placed on those buses today. Everyone had to go take those. Now, meantime, a search of the school was conducted. Police found no weapons, saying that the threat that they responded to just was not credible. Our detectives will to continue to investigate this matter. Um, and as of right now, I, I know some of the rumors out there, there, there might have been some hostages um, or people in bathrooms, and, and that is false. There, there were no hostages. Uh, we found no, like I said, no credible threats and no weapons were located. And so tonight, police are trying to locate the origins of that phone call, trying to trace it, of course, investigating exactly where that came from. Uh, it was asked today of the police chief what possible charges this person could face. Certainly, inducing panic would just be the start. Back to you. All right, Drew. Thank you. Today's events, of course, weighing heavily on parents and students. As the lockdown unfolded, parents were told to meet their kids at a nearby church. And that's where Rachel Polanski joins us tonight. Hi, Rachel. Good evening, Laura. Yeah, Bay parents were instructed to come here to Bay Presbyterian Church to pick up their kids. I was here talking with very anxious parents as they awaited their kids' arrival. Then I was here for the very sweet reunions that unfolded when parents hugged their kids after they arrived off those school buses. While officers spend the afternoon sweeping the high school room by room, parents tell me that they were scouring the Internet for updates and waiting for text messages from their children. Students tell me that they first thought that this was a drill, but that quickly changed as time went on. It was it was really scary not knowing what was like. You didn't know what was going to happen. There were cops upstairs yelling, making sure that they weren't in the bathroom. It was really scary, but I'm just glad everyone's safe. What was the first thing you did when you saw her? Those are, those are right here. So I just gave her a hug and we're just walking to the car now. I thought it was a drill the first five minutes of it, but then it kind of clicked to me that it was a real thing. But I'm um, just glad everyone's okay and happy to be alive. So Happy to be alive. Really powerful words that really capture the emotion here in Bay Village. And you know, Laura, this serves as a stark reminder for parents and students as kids start heading back to in-class person learning um, of the psychological and emotional challenges that there might be um, after being in remote learning at home for so long, Laura. That's right. Rachel Polanski, thanks so much.